How's it going guys? Thanks for tuning into today's video. I've got something uh, pretty damn unique here with me today. I haven't really reviewed anything like this before. My last Nerf mod video was on the CO2 powered Nerf Mag Strike and that was pretty cool. <laughs> This is also quite exciting because this is a remote controlled Nerf gun. So this was actually built by a friend of mine called Mikey. Uh, he's put this together. As you can see, most of it is super glued and cable tied on. It is a Nerf Night Finder. The whole underside has been sawed across here where he has then mounted the battery, um, the servo, the receiver, uh, my terminology is not too good with uh, this sort of uh, electronic stuff. When you pull the trigger on the remote, this piece swivels up and uh, releases the catch, which is how it fires. So there it's primed, and then when you pull the trigger, this piece rotates up and uh, releases the catch. So the remote, that's it there. We just got to switch that on. And then we got to plug the battery in. Ow. Great. <laughs> well, there was a bit of a blooper. Now we'll plug it in. Now we'll cock it back. Shizer. Yes. Alrighty, so I got the remote hooked up now so we can see it in action. So you can see when I pull the trigger, it releases the catch, which uh, releases the plunger, and that's how the blaster fires. So this has also been modified, I should mention. The air strip has been removed. You can see all the way down to the plunger head. So we'll just pop a dart in. All right, so I'm just moving us back from the 60 foot mark, which is where the, the uh, toy gun currently is sitting, so we can see it um, in action. So from where it is to the shed, 60 feet, 18 meters. Let's see if we can hit it. I'll just make sure I got it lined up right. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, very nice. Let's go and have a look where that landed. That is the Nerf gun. So we landed yeah, a few meters short, let's say around 14 meters. There she is. All right, this time I'll shoot it again, but we'll get a close up of just the, uh, the Nerf gun firing it. Now one other really cool thing that Mikey did, before he added this bracket on, hold it from the ground, stabilize it. He mounted this under one of his drones. Uh, so he actually had this thing up in the air. Pretty damn cool, because that's actually quite heavy. I mean, yeah, that's not the lightest rig, but the drone managed to hold it, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments section below. Let me know if you like these kind of projects. Maybe I can uh, film some other modifications that I can get a hold of or maybe do some of my own mods. Anyway guys, that's all for today's video. See you in the next one.